Johnny, come put on your shoes and go down the street to the milk stand and get me a dozen eggs, a quart of milk, and a pint of ice cream, please. Hurry up now. From the early 1940s to the 1960s, milk stands were a symbol of Bahamian social life. These strategically located milk stands were formerly owned by the Hatchet Bay Plantation, which was established in 1936 by Austin Levy. Dairy and poultry products were produced in Hatchet Bay, Eleuthera, and shipped to New Providence for sale at a number of milk stands. Many homes did not have refrigerators, so fresh products were purchased daily. These milk stands were strategically placed on corners throughout Nassau, Bahamas, and items such as raw chicken, eggs, milk, and ice cream were sold. This produce was shipped fresh daily from the Hatchet Bay Farms in Hatchet Bay, Eleuthera. Products arrived by the 52 miles mail boat daily at their main offices and dock at the company-owned Levy Building between the Esso and Shell gas stations on East Bay Street. Behind it all was Mr. Austin T. Levy. He was born in New York City on December 16, 1880. His father died when he was four and his mother when he was 11. He then lived with his aunt and sister. Because of his humble beginnings, he always had great respect for his employees. He was a kind, gentle man who loved people. In the book, The Life and Business Philosophy of Austin T. Levy, Visionary Entrepreneur, it read, Levy and his wife, June Rockwell Levy, confronted a new and unexpected challenge in the Bahamas. It was in Nassau in the Bahamas that they found a lack of fresh milk, eggs, and chickens for the children and families in the food poor Bahamas of the mid-1930s. Following a couple years of difficult agricultural experiments, Mr. Levy developed a 2,000-acre modern dairy and poultry farm on the nearby island of Eleuthera, built a fleet of boats to ferry fresh food to Nassau and other islands, and set up a chain of milk stands in Nassau to distribute milk, eggs, chicken, and ice cream. Along the way, he created work for hundreds of people, built homes and recreation facilities, provided electricity and indoor plumbing, befriended the Duke of Windsor, and inspired a generation of Bahamians with healthy food and a wonderful place to live and work. Austin T. Levy was a socially conscious entrepreneur. Mr. Levy's creation of these milk stands is what many consider to have been the first chain of convenience stores in the Western Hemisphere. The government of the Bahamas purchased Hatchet Bay in 1975. It was subsequently controlled by the Bahamas Development Corporation, which was then renamed Bahamas Agricultural and Industrial Corporation. The milk stand that I have the most nostalgic memories of was the one on Bay Street, a couple buildings west of the old Border Trade Building, where my mother, the late Orville Rollins Gibson, worked as a nurse for the late Dr. K.V.A. Rogers. He would often send someone for sandwiches for lunch from that milk stand, which is no longer there. Many of these buildings are still standing, but many more were destroyed. The milk stands served a very important purpose on our island. They are indeed an interesting and memorable part of the history of Old Nassau. Where that boy with my eggs and milk and ice cream? Boy, I gonna wail his tail when he come back home.